We, we do this all the time, so hold up your phones. That's phones, okay, raise these phones. This is your best friend, yes? Yes. All right, you guys know, you guys know the drill. There you go, this phone. This phone. Will make. Will make. Me. Me. Ah. Uh, uh, million dollar. Million dollar. There you go, right? Keep, keep saying that over and over and over, because you know what happened to me? <laughs> it, it, it happened, it works. What happens if your skills look like this phone? Your, 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 your resume, more importantly, your aptitude, right? Looks like this. Guys, there's a lot of things I can improve. Phone skills is one of them. You know what I can improve? Your aptitude, right? Your aptitude determines your altitude. That's why going to big events, guess what's gonna happen at big event? Guess what happens to this, this thing? This improves over time, right? But you guys know when you go to big event, three days later, you're like this thing. You go from this to iPhone X. You go, you go to this like this in three days. So in this episode of Living Money Smart, I'm gonna give you some five tips on how to stay motivated and inspired as an entrepreneur. Hey guys, as you're watching this, we're in Las Vegas this week for our annual family reunion called the PHP National Convention. This year, the theme is Builder's Land. And I want you to stay posted on my Instagram at MoneySmartGuy because I will have a giveaway when I kick off our convention on Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload this episode. And if you're watching this on Facebook and you're getting value for what we're doing every Sunday morning, please click like. People are always excited about a new job, a new career, a new business, a new decision they made to change and better their life. That is until I quote Mike Tyson saying, everybody's got a plan until they get hit in the mouth. But here's a definition of commitment when you want to change your life. And that definition is staying true to that commitment and that decision long after the emotion in which you made that original decision wears off. I've been playing the game of entrepreneurship and winning the money game for close to 20 years now. This is Dad having a lot of trouble picking what shirt he does not want. Say hi to the camera, Father. What's up for you? Yep, that's him. He does not know what to choose. See ya. I've been taking notes on how to better my life since 1998. Until this day, those notes are gold to me. I knew my situation back in the late 90s as a single father. I knew a simple job would not cut it. There's a certain lifestyle I wanted to live and deserve to live. There's certain things I knew that my children would need. A car I wanted to drive and a zip code I wanted to live in. And speaking of cars, I'm so fired up because this Sunday, the release of this vlog, we're gonna be in Las Vegas with 15 of our top guys from around the country. And we're opening the track at Speed Vegas, driving Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Porsches, you name it. We're gonna have tons of fun. Why? Because they stayed motivated, inspired to hit their goals and we want to reward them. I mean, people look at me today and say, man, you got it so easy, you got it made. I mean, you get invited to the White House to speak on finance and entrepreneurship. You get invited to travel to go places all over the world. You get invited to meet influential people to talk about business and opening up their restaurant, like the one we did at Michael Jordan's. And you get to be interviewed on podcasts and you can go on TV to talk about your company, right? You got it made. What a lot of people don't know over my 18 year career thus far is that I've been through a lot of ups and downs. And at many times, those downs were really down. There wasn't days that I felt like getting up and running the business. There was days where I thought about, man, should I just get a regular job? There were days where I said, you know what? Is this really what business is all about? But you know what I compared it to? The alternative. The alternative if I didn't stay with it. Will I really find another job or even another business that's gonna give me the lifestyle I deserve to live? This episode of Living Money Smart, I'm gonna give you some five tips on how to stay motivated and inspired as an entrepreneur. Tip number one, it's a marathon not a sprint. Okay, so if you've experienced a little bit of success. You got a nice commission check, you had a big payday, you're getting recognized, you're getting some positive traction in your business endeavor, but yet you start feeling now the next wave, which is a wave of failures. And I want you to know that's okay. That is part of the process. As we say in the Marine Corps, improvise, adapt, and overcome. Tip number two, focus on milestones, not obstacles. People think that entrepreneurship is just one straight line. 
But the reality, it goes up, it goes down. Matter of fact, it stays down for a minute. The journey of entrepreneurship is filled with U-turns, alternative routes, and sometimes sitting in traffic frustrated. Keep the engine on and keep moving towards the direction that you want to go. I've experienced it. Many other successful entrepreneurs have faced it, and so will you. Tip number three, reasons over excuses. You know, oftentimes with entrepreneurship, people think they want balance, a balanced lifestyle. And I just want you guys to know, it's okay if you're not experiencing balance. At this phase, there's very little balance. I mean, did you have balance when you're going to college? Did you have balance when you're going to school? Did you have balance when you started that first job, nine to five, putting 40 hours into a job and learning a new career, learning a new position? Was there balance? Was there balance when you had only about two or three hours to eat dinner with your family coming home and go, go to sleep and rinse, repeat, and do that again the next day? And is that a lifestyle that you really want to live? So getting your business up and running, there is no balance. And just keep in mind, what you focus on and what you talk about, you will be about. If you focus on the positives, the learning experiences, looking for that silver lining throughout the process, that's what you're going to attract and you'll manifest the learning experiences into positive results. Tip number four, been there, done that. I mean, who are you really listening to? Because there's a bunch of people out there that tried something, failed, and then quit. And what does their life look like today? So the opposite is true. There are people that have been there, done that, got hit in the mouth, kept going, got hit in the mouth twice, kept going, and guess what happens? Now they get to taste victory. They get to taste success. So you listen to people that are talking negative and really don't have a lifestyle that you want to live, or you listen to positive people that have been there, done that, and showing a body of work over an extended period of time that displays success. Who are you listening to? And tip number five, positive distractions. Now we all have distractions, negative distractions and positive distractions. Well, what's the difference between the two? You see, I watch sports differently these days. Early on, I would watch sports and just look for the victory. But now today, I look at how athletes prepare for a game before the lights turn on. They focus on distractions and competition that makes them better, not the distractions that keep their eyes off the prize. So here's my closing thought. Staying motivated and inspired in your business requires daily disciplines, daily consistency, and a daily positive mindset. You want to create more options in your life because having options is power. Remember, you're the one that runs your business. You're the one that drives the culture of your organization. You're the one ultimately responsible for the ups and downs of what goes on in your daily basis. I've always said, control what you can control. So you're saying, Matt, listen, my team doesn't respond. Well, you don't have the right team. You say, Matt, my sales guys aren't motivated. Well, you just haven't figured out what triggers them. You say, Matt, I got people that are dragging me down and they're not doing anything to expand and do their role. Simple. If you can't change your people, they need to change your people. Early on, I've always feared at one point in my entrepreneurial career of losing people. And once I decided to put my flag in the ground and stand up for something, you know what happened? I found that the right people I attracted and the wrong people I repelled. Think about this. Apple became the world's first trillion dollar company after the death of its co-founder, Steve Jobs. Do you think over a period of time, they have attracted new wave after new wave of new wave of people into the ranks? Of course they have. Facebook lost $119 billion in a day simply because they weren't meeting their goals. You think everybody's moping around, groping around and saying, you know what, let's just pack it up and shut Facebook down. This business isn't going to work. Of course they do. Remember, not all people will love you, but the ones that do are a few and those are the ones that matter. Who are they in your life? People will loathe you just because you decide to keep at it. Why? Because you're a reminder that they quit. Stay short-term urgent and intense, but long-term patient as you evolve into the next best version of yourself. Remember, those that keep succeeding at things will always have other people talking about them. And if you're not talked about, you're probably not doing anything. All right, guys, this wraps up this episode of Living Money Smart. And I hope if you've been watching this video up until this point, we earned a new subscriber on our YouTube channel. So please click subscribe and click notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. And if you're watching this on Facebook and you're watching it up until this point, I hope I earned a new like. I'm so fired up about this week ahead, new announcements, new initiatives, new growth. So stay posted every Sunday morning as we upload new episodes of Living Money Smart. Thanks for tuning in and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.